Hi guys and welcome back to Sophie's Sims Play. So this week we are going to make a special person that I forgot to include in my creating my household video as it is a very big part of my life. So the previous part of my life is my anxiety and I like to see it as a different person because to me me and my anxiety are completely different people so what I decided to do uh, to make my let's play a little bit more realistic is make an anxiety kind of myself in the sims and they're gonna be living upstairs um, where only they can sort of come and go uh, and I'm gonna make them horrible, but they're gonna look basically like what they tell me I should look like. That kinda of does sound confusing, but at the same time, it'll completely make sense if you have anxiety. <laughs> so if you haven't watched last week's video where I made my household, go watch that video now, otherwise these people are gonna look completely like strangers to you. it should have the hmm what kind of walk would go with it probably that one and let's see what would it want I would probably say it would want fortune and to be fabulously wealthy. Just call it anxiety. So <laughs> And it would probably have Probably erratic. <laughs> um, me. And Make sure it kind of looks like me because it is a version of me. So let's make it a little bit more tan. And it's gonna have. Let's see. It will probably have something like this. Maybe not. My anxiety itself is very, very confident in whatever it's saying. So I want to kind of uh, show that. And it kind of likes to beat me down. Which is why I'm kind of looking for it to be a very sort of... Um, perfect version of me, I guess. Let's see, what 
can we do? I always see my anxiety as like this really stylish, confident person who, because they're stylish and confident, kind of has the right to tell me what I should do, what I should look like. You know like those popular girls in school that because they look pretty they kind of think they have all the authority? Yeah. <laughs> that is essentially what I see my anxiety is looking like. It's actually quite hard to make a version of me because I don't know it's kind of hard I see what we can do though maybe something like that No, I reckon something like this. And then let's do the eyebrows. And the eyes. I always see my sim like my anxiety version of myself as sort of having all of like the perfect kind of what I would see as perfect in a person if that makes any sense whatsoever. We will fix all of this. <laughs> so I'm just going to do the everyday look and then I'll speed it up and transfer it across all of them. I like that. I think that's very stylish. One one. And we'll have some nice love and we will have yeah some bright red lipstick I think that looks really really nice I feel like that's what my anxiety would have because I cannot do eyeliner to save my life and I'm not very good at makeup overall whereas that looks very much more stylish to me so I feel like that's the kind of idea that they would go for I'm just going to go and do the rest of the makeup because it's basically going to be the same and I'm sure you don't want to sit there and watch me do it all over again. <laughs> right, so that is her makeup done across the board. Now let's move on to the outfits. I actually kind of like this look. It's very, very light and casual compared to the kind of... Um, thing I would wear 
I would not really be able to wear something that showed my stomach because that is a massive confidence thing for me. Um, um, let's see if we can find her some better boots though. Now these ones, I really really like these ones because they're really cute. So let's move on to formal and start with the dress. I think she would go for something that's fairly skin tight and sort of risque, something that I definitely would not go for. So something like this because I'd be checking how high up my dress is the entire time. Uh, just checking back to what I did choose for my normal sim so I'm not doing the same outfits. And that's fine because it's completely different. I am going to change the necklace though because I feel like it could be something better than that uh, and something sort of more simple uh, I'm seeing if I can find it something like that, that would be good now on to athletic I wouldn't wear a full tracksuit like that <laughs> and I'm going to get her in something like um, a crop top and some little short shorts something that matches, making sure she's not getting socks on because apparently the sim loves her socks and some shoes that match under sleepwear, taking those slippers off and putting her in something more sexy I guess um, now on to party wear I don't really know what I'm going for here, so I'm just going to have a quick look over sort of the full body stuff. Maybe something like that, because I wouldn't usually go for something like that. Um, but I'm not quite sure it's right, so let's keep looking. Yeah, so let's just go for a white top. Uh, that shows off her stomach and a little skirt and it really sort of skimpy same kind of thing with the, the swimwear making sure that there's a lot of skin on show because <laughs> it's pretty much the opposite of what I would do and I'd like to think that this, this sim is very, very confident in her own skin. At least she likes telling me that she is. And I'm not good enough, so... Uh, and a hot weather outfit definitely needs to be changed. I think I'm going to go for a summer dress, something really cute like that, and just have a look at if there's any better colours, I don't think there is, so I might stick with a very similar one. And with the cold weather, she's going to wear something quite stylish. I actually kind of like what she's wearing right now, but I'm just checking over if there's anything else that I would prefer her wearing. I think I'm just going to change the colours of some things, see if it would suit her better. I um, think I'm going to go with the grey and change her shoes to some boots. And yeah, so that is my sim done. Right, so I'm, I'm putting her at my anxiety sofa in the house and making sure my entire household absolutely hates her. Just sort of making sure that she fits in where she does in my house. Um, and I actually found out it's very hard to make Sims hate you. <laughs> and it takes a lot of interactions. But as soon as you can fight, they're on a roll and they pretty much despise each other. I did find it funny that I got them to fight twice and uh, my sim won once and then the anxiety beat them. 
I just got to do the same for my partner because my partner absolutely hates my anxiety too. I am just going to renovate at the top um, after I've got them to hate each other because I think I'm going to move her into the top where my sims can't access. Um, and so she's going to have a very lavish and stylish house. And um, yeah, that just means that she can come and go whenever she pleases to mess up my life. <laughs> I did attempt to try and make my dog hate my anxiety, but she just wanted to sleep and refused to interact with me. So after a while I gave up. <laughs> yeah, making sure that only she can enter the top bit and, and making it into more of a house. Kind of just sort of gave her the basics, didn't really decorate too much. Uh, made the colours that she would choose. And making sure she had a kitchen and a bathroom, a living room and a bedroom. So I'm just gonna speed through all of this and uh, I'll get back to you when I'm done. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Next week I'm going to be doing a let's play video, so just sort of get making sure that they're doing their thing and playing around with them for a bit. Um, if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe because I post videos every Saturday. So I'll see you next week, bye!